Book 1, Unit 2, Introducing Yourself Unit 2, Introducing Yourself Unit Objectives Students will be able to Introduce themselves Build sentences using like or likes Make negative sentences using do not or does not Join sentences using but Use apostrophe correctly Use capital letters and punctuation marks correctly. Write guided paragraphs. Correct the written work. Spell correctly, especially some subjects, languages, words with double consonants, sports and hobbies, etc. Introducing yourself. Activity 1. Read this paragraph about Ali. He is introducing himself. Myself. Ali has written about himself in this paragraph and he has written the title myself and the title here is underlined. Let's look at the full paragraph. This is the full paragraph about Ali. If we look at the full paragraph we find that he has given an indention in the first line. It is a blank space between the margin and the first word of the first line. It is about five letters space between the margin and the first word of, of the first line. So the paragraph is, my name is Ali, I am 20, I was born in Jidda, I live in Abha with my parents, I am a student. I study in King Khalid University. I study in the College of Languages and Translation. I like playing football, swimming and read books. I speak Arabic and English. I am single. I want to be a teacher in future. So in this paragraph, all this information is about Ali. This is the first line, uh, the first sentence of this paragraph and this is the topic sentence of this paragraph and then there are supporting sentences and this is the final sentence of the paragraph introducing yourself activity 2 in this activity we are going to write the information about Ali depending on the information in activity 1 so we are going to write the information about Ali the first one is name we can write the name Ali here then age and he is 20 years old where was he born and the answer is written in the paragraph Jidda. He was born in Jidda. Home. Where does he live? And he has written in this paragraph that he lives with his parents in Abha. So we can write here his home is in Abha. Job. What does he do? Does he have any job or he is still a student? So we find in this paragraph that Ali is a student. So we can write here that he is a student. Place of work. Where does he work? As he is a student, that means where does he study? We can write the name of his institution and it is King Khalid University. He studies in this university in the College of Language and Translation. Hobbies. What does he like to do in his free time? And he has written that he likes to play football and he likes to swim also he likes to read books so we can write here the information about his hobbies read books he likes to play football swim read books what languages does he speak so he speaks Arabic his mother tongue and other than Arabic he also speaks English he might know some other languages but he has written that he speaks Arabic and English. Is he married? For this answer we can write that he has written he is single. So we can write here he is single. And the final sentence he has written about his aim in life. What he wants to be in his life. He has a plan of his life and you can say the goal of his life that he is going to be a teacher or he wants to be a teacher. So this is his aim in life, a teacher, to be a teacher. Introducing yourself. Activity 3. Complete the table with the information about yourself. In this activity now, you are going to complete this table about yourself. Here, you are going to write your name, just like Ali did in the activity number 2, that his name is Ali. 
The second information is about age. You can write how old are you. If it is 19, you can write in 19, 20, 21, whatever you can write your age here. Where were you born? You can write the place where you were born. So it can be Abha or something else. You write about the information about your home, where is your home. So this way you are going to complete the information about yourself. You can write the aim of your life here. Like Ali, he wants to be a teacher, but it can be different for you. You can write, for example, you want to be a manager, you want to be a doctor, okay? Whatever you like to be in future, you can write here. Introducing yourself. Activity 4. Use the information from the table in activity 3 to write a paragraph about yourself. So, you have to be careful when you are going to write a paragraph about yourself. Look at the title, it is yourself, but when you are going to write the paragraph, you must change it into myself and give the title underline. Then after, depending on the information in activity, Three, you have written your information in the table in activity three and then use the information to write the full paragraph about yourself. Remember that this is the margin of the paragraph. So the first line you are going to give an indention about five letters. It is a blank space between the margin and the first word of the first line about five letters. For example, you can write from here, my name is Ahmed. So the first line you start here with an indention of five letters, giving a blank space between the margin and the first word of the first line. There is a space, it is called indention. So it should be about five letters. And after you continue the paragraph and in the second line you will have to start near the margin not giving the indention like first line the second line should be started from near the margin you should not give any indention here and after each sentence or each line you will have to complete this way no space between the margin on your right and there is no space between the first margin on your left. So you will continue this way and finally you will have to finish the sentences or the, you will have to finish the paragraph about 10 sentences.